Hello. Um, so first of all, an apology to my subscribers because I've just realized the last three videos, there's no volume. Um, that's irritating from a creator's point of view because um, everything seemed okay in the settings when I uploaded it. I've just checked this one and I think it should be okay. That's irritating because the last three videos um, were videos I did want to make. I don't know yet whether I'm going to upload them again or not. Um, hopefully, though, um, hopefully it will go smoothly. I'm actually going to just reiterate the last video, which was about Elon Musk and Vernon Unsworth. Um, earlier, I've been reading from uh, an article in the newspaper, so I'm just going to lay this out and not make it too long. Um, this was a defamation case, basically, um, between the South African tech tycoon and a British diver. And the background to this was the Thai cave rescue last year. That was a human interest story that got the world's attention, much like the Chilean miners back in 2010. Um, and it was a good outcome in the sense that all the boys were rescued, but sadly, a uh, Thai Navy diver died. He was only 38 years old. Um, now, during this, this is one of those things where a story comes out of another story. So that was the big story at the time. But I remember a feud broke out between one of the British divers involved in the team. There was a British team that was central to this operation and the billionaire tycoon um, Elon Musk. And it broke out over the fact that Elon Musk had suggested putting one of his submersibles into the cave system to help in the operation. Of course, Elon Musk is an inventor. He's an entrepreneur and an inventor. And basically, the response of this man, Vernon Unsworth, was to basically bluntly tell him he can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Now, at the time, I remember feeling that that was a bit rude. Because even if from their professional I mean, these people are professional divers. This is what they do. Even if from the professional perspective, it wouldn't have helped in the operation. Um, I think most people would interpret Elon Musk's gesture for what it was or for what he argues it was, which was good intentions. You know, he was just trying to help out. So I think Unsworth started the feud by his pretty rude response to that. What he should have said was, thank you, Mr. Musk, but that will not be necessary, something like that. Um, for him to reply the way he did, I thought was a bit um, unnecessary. However, the response was that Musk referred to Mr. Ronsworth as that pedo guy, or sorry, pedo guy. He sent this out in a tweet to 22.5 million followers. He immediately deleted it, so Musk knew that was wrong. So basically, this defamation case over is over what Elon Musk uh, banded Mr. Unsworth. Um, on the ground, he's a middle-aged man living in Thailand, and there has been a historic problem with paedophiles going to that part of the world. But I, I have kind of mixed feelings about this. On one hand, those who are trivialising it need to understand that I'm some Mr. Musk's defence team argued that in South Africa, where he grew up, it's not that witty and insult, it's just a term for a creepy old man. Well, in Britain it does carry weights. Innocent people have had their homes attacked over that. Innocent people have had their reputations totally destroyed. Um, and Vernon Unsworth said that he felt sullied, he felt dirtied, he felt totally, um, totally destroyed by this. Um, so I don't think it's a trivial thing. People who are downplaying that need to remember that the power of celebrity, when you have someone as powerful as Elon Musk, you know, that was an astonishingly reckless thing to do. And he must have known that because he immediately deleted it. But one could argue the damage is already done because if you look at the video coverage of this, people are already saying, oh, well, he is a pedo guy. The implication being he's a pedophile. Musk's team argued that wasn't what he was saying. But at best, it was reckless. And as far as I could see, he hasn't offered anything in the way of an apology. Having said that, it was Unsworth that began the feud with his rude and unnecessary rebuke of Musk's offer to help. Like I say, if he felt that it wasn't going to help, he could have just said that politely. 
like thank you, but it won't help. We've got all the tools we need, something like that. The other thing that sticks out about this that makes me a little bit, let's say, reiterate Mr. Unsworth's position is that his legal team is asking for 145 million in damages. Now, I can understand him wanting to push for an apology and maybe some cash settlement, which Musk's side has refused. But 145 million is a massive amount of money. I mean, I don't know what his salary is as a diver, but I doubt it's anywhere near that. So if it's about loss of, I mean, the, the event only happened that year, so he can't have that much in the way of lost earnings. I just think that's an excessive amount. And a lot of people will look at that and think, oh, well, he's just targeting this billionaire because he's a billionaire. He's just looking for a cash. You know, he just sees money in his eyes. And I think maybe part of it is that I think it's a bit of a dubious um, angle to take with this case. And it's a pity because I think that Mr. Ondsworth might have a case. But the Los Angeles jury threw it out. And, um, yeah, uh, Musk won the case. So, I mean, Mr. Ondsworth's defence team, or not his defence team, his, his legal team said that uh, this is a case of a billionaire bully you know, the case of the the Goliath versus the David, the sort of the, the multi-billionaire versus the little man. But on the surface, it would seem to be that way. But for me, that, that huge cash payout that Unsworth is demanding is a sticking point. Also, the fact that he hasn't kind of offered any sense of responsibility for the fact it was him that began the feud. I mean, Musk has a right to rebuke that. You know, if he's going to make such a rude sort of um, insult when a man is seemingly trying to help. I mean, him and his team say it was pure opportunism, but that was just speculation on their part. They can't prove it's opportunism. They can't prove it's a PR stunt. Maybe it was, but they should have responded in a better way. They should have said, thank you for his offer of help, but we don't need it something like that, rather than saying he can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. I thought that was a bit tetchy and unnecessary. So, in a sense, I think both are at fault. However, it's Musk that is the multi-billionaire. He is in a far more powerful position. And, you know, whatever it means in South Africa, in Britain, that word certainly does carry weight. So I think, actually, Unsworth's side does have a point. But the sticking point is that Day is looking for that. It's just going to create a lot of cynicism as to his intentions. Right, whether I delete the last videos or not, I don't know. I really hate deleting videos that I've uploaded, but there's no sound. So I guess I'll have to. Thanks for watching, and I hope this one's better.